Hello, hello, hello. How are you this morning? It's Dr. Annette. It is 1030 and it's time for some keto talk. So what I wanted to talk about today is, are you using your carbs wisely or are you cheating yourself by eating improper foods? So um, typically in a ketogenic lifestyle, if you're going to stay in a state of ketosis, you have to keep your carbohydrates less than 50 grams of carbs per day and less than 30 net carbs per day. So you don't have to count them both ways, but if you're just going to count carbs in general, count carbs, just total carbs. And if you're going to count net carbs, then count net carbs, but don't go back and forth. You have to pick one and you have to stay there. So if you're going to do net carbs, you take the total carbs. So if your thing has, and here's an example, these are some nuts. Okay, here it is. It says, and I don't read backwards very well, so let's see. Total carbohydrates is seven grams, but it has dietary fiber of three grams. I know it's kind of out of focus. So seven grams minus three grams is four grams of carbs per serving, and the serving size is one quarter cup. And these, this is my favorite snack, just so you guys know, they come from Walgreens. So if you're doing net carbs, you take seven grams minus three grams, which gives you four net carbs per quarter cup. If you're just counting total grams, then it's seven total grams for a quarter cup. So if you're doing total carbs, 50 per day, if you're doing net carbs, 30 per day. So that is your, um, your standard basic everyday way of doing your carbohydrates. Now, your total carbohydrates need to come from things that are nutritious. So don't save up all your 50 carbs and use them all for McLite or McUltra or Coors Light because what you want to do is use those carbohydrates throughout the day along with fats and other things to help your body get the nutrition it needs and provide the right amount of carbohydrates throughout the day. So you want to mix your carbohydrates fat you want to add avocados and coconut oil and things like that to your diet. And you don't want to have all of those 50 net carbs in one sitting because guess what? If you put all 50 of those carbs in one meal, you're going to throw yourself out of ketosis, right? So if you're trying to get into ketosis and stay there, you want to take those 50 grams of carbs that you've allowed yourself per day and spread those out throughout the day so that you're not doing them all at once um, because that's going to cause you issues if you try to squeeze them all in in one meal. So um, I always recommend if you're going to have carbohydrates, add some fats with your carbs. And when I say good carbs, I mean broccoli, I mean berries, I mean things that are good for you and have a lot of nutrition in them because without nutrition, your body can't do the things it's supposed to do, right? It can't um, break down those things and give you a um, nutrition, right? What you want your food to do when you eat it is break down into the smallest particles possible and then use that to allow your cells to have the things that your cells need to duplicate and repair and all of those. So vegetables and fruits have phytonutrients in them, right? So your body breaks those down and they get utilized to help your body fight um, oxidation and free radicals and things like that. So don't use your 50 grams of carbs per day for a couple of bites of ice cream because there's no nutrition in that ice cream. It might make you feel good for like 10 seconds, but what you really need to do is make sure that you're getting nutrients in and you're sticking within your allowed allowance for the day. So if you're one of those people that's um, just trying to maintain your current status, 50 grams of carbs per day works perfectly for most people. You may have to change it some depending on your specific physiology. But if you're trying to cut some fat and maybe shed a few inches, you might want to drop your carbohydrates down to 20 grams of carbs per day until you reach that goal. 
So those are just some tips and tricks that I have for you. And um, like I said, it's super important to make sure that the food that you're putting in your body has nutrients in it. So don't waste your 50 grams of carbs per day on foods that have no nutritional value. If you wanna do this the right way and you wanna do it the healthy way and you wanna feel better and get all of the benefits from being in a state of ketosis, which not only is energy, focus, fat loss, those things, but to help your body rebuild and make better cells, make healthier cells, make a better body long-term going forward, then you need to make sure that the food you're putting in here is actually nutritious and your body can utilize it for something. So don't use empty calories to fill those 50 grams of carbs per day. So hopefully that was super helpful. I didn't wanna keep you very long. And um, let me know if you're watching this on the replay, please type replay. And if you know someone who might need to know this information, please feel free to share. I love, love, love to help people just like you feel better and have the energy to do the things they wanna do with the people they wanna do it with. I'm Dr. Annette, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.